Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and Asimo hosted a Q&A yesterday where he answered the Jailbird community's biggest questions, and it was on Discord where you can go up in voice chat and ask him, and I even was able to ask him a question where he answered stuff about trading. He confirmed quite a lot, and it's a pretty big deal. He also talked about the M12 Moltens coming back, and about the mysterious man in the lore, you know, like Jailbreak Live event. There's a lot of stuff he went over, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the highlights of it, you know, the biggest questions, all that stuff in today's video. So yeah, before we jump right into it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and just dive right in because there is a lot. So first of all, uh, this Q&A happened on Discord, obviously, and uh, yeah, so everything you see will, is on Discord. And yes, there's technically like an Asimo voice reveal, but he already did a Q&A last year, so I don't think this is like really that big of a deal because he already revealed his voice. But anyway, this is the question I asked. So I actually have three questions. The first one was, is cars stackable or not? The second one, was will you make like a Bedemo approved value list because it was controversial and the third one was about trading hub so here is the recording awesome all right let's bring in this one i believe this question's related to trading i don't know if you can disclose anything about that but some we'll of it's top that. secret we'll see <laughs> we'll see we'll see if you can answer your question that brian we'll see oh hey osimo <laughs> hi there so i got like three questions about trading i don't know if i can ask i, I know you're can I ask more than interested one? in trading <laughs> okay, so the first question is, um, will cars be stackable or not? Um, we're going to build support for it. Okay, okay. So you, you, but I don't know if we'll actually end up doing it, but you, you will be able to own multiples of something. Okay, here's like another one. So the values are like really controversial. Will you of make course. like a Bedemo approved value list? Mm, maybe. I, we don't want to maintain a value list really. Because values are going to change very yeah. quickly, especially once people start trading. Um, I think for now, the plan is to leave it up to players to figure out what the value of an item is to them. Okay, okay. And then the last question is, um, will you make like a trading hub for Jailbreak? Yes. Oh. But I can't talk much <laughs> more on that. Okay, okay. But the, the goal is to never get a trade notification while you're playing normal Jailbreak. Ooh, okay. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for your questions. Right. We're excited about trading. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so you all saw that. So Asimo basically confirmed two things. The first thing was, yes, you can stack vehicles. So for example, you can have like three torpedoes, you can have two brulees, you can have more than one vehicle. Yes, you can stack them. However, he didn't say anything about stacking like, you know, cars that aren't limited. Like for example, if you can buy the Eclair like a few times, he didn't say anything about that, unfortunately. Anyway, the next question is about VIP server commands and if he's going to make more of them. And he says this. What's your question? So, are you going, are you planning to add any other VIP server commands? Oh, yeah. Um, we definitely should. And I think we need to bring back game modes, especially Battle Royale. That's just, I just kind of miss it. Yeah, but um, you, you, you would need to fix it because it's very busy. Yeah. <laughs> It, it got a little bit forgotten, and so we eventually just took it down because we didn't have time to fix it. But we have more time now to start focusing on that type of stuff. All right. We'll announce something kind of related to that soon. All right, so right over here, Simo basically says he wants to add more VIP server commands. I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, you know that, that's something I would like to see as well. So, yeah. Anyway, the next thing is about the M12 Molten. A lot of people want it to come back, and this is what he says about it. Okay, I'm just going to ask this one on behalf of everyone since this question has come up a lot. Um, okay. I'm not sure what you can answer, but uh, will the Molten M12 come back? So I think when we released the Molten M12, we said we might bring it back. That could still happen. The problem is we risk upsetting current owners, but I did warn current owners it, would, it could happen. Um, I think currently the plan is we'll roll out trading and you'll be able to trade for one if you really want a Molten M12. But for now, there's no concrete plans. It could happen. All right, there you go, everyone. <laughs> Lots of questions about that one. All right, let's I didn't know there was so much interest in that question. <laughs> I didn't or in that either. vehicle. Yeah, it's a popular one. All right, here we go. 
Okay, so from that, basically what Asimo is saying is that the M12 Molten wouldn't be coming back for right now. He wants it to like, you know, you're supposed to be able to get it when trading comes. You know, you can find someone with it and probably trade for it. But he has no plans to bring it back for right now. But he did technically promise it may come back soon. All right, here is another one where basically someone was asking if you can design textures for cars. All right, may have to ask this one on behalf. Um, so their question was, I don't know if it's really possible, but I would like to know if at some point players could design their own textures for cars. Oh, cool. Um, I'm guessing they mean in-game, and that's actually something we requested uh, to Roblox. We made a feature request. It'd be really cool if we had a Forza or a Need for Speed type system where you could build car skins in-game. It's just, it's not possible currently. But maybe in the future, once they make it possible, we'd love to make it possible. So yeah, unfortunately, Roblox does not support that. He just Roblox doesn't have that available. But when it comes, you know, when Roblox actually makes that sort of feature, a semen will definitely implement it into the game. All right, so the next question will be about the lore. So, you know, in like the live event, there's that mysterious man who says that he will rule over all jailbreak. Well, he talked about it here. Uh, I know I don't know it's, if it's important, but who mm -hmm. caused it in the live event? Because we didn't get to know. Oh yes, uh, you will find out soon. He is a new character in Jailbreak lore, and he's involved with a couple big content updates we'll have in the next year. Maybe this winter you'll learn a bit more about him. Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. I have a Hi. question about. So, will there be more story to the game? Yes, we want more story to the game, and we kind of hinted at that with our live event. We're going to introduce a new character that will be involved in future updates. We're just not quite ready to show you who he is yet. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And yeah, basically, Asimo says over here that the winter update may have some more information about this person. Now, don't think that this is going to be their live event. I don't think it'll be a live event. Um, that'll be like way too soon. Usually, I think Asimo wants to do live events like yearly or maybe every two years because that's what the schedule really is. So don't expect it to be a live event. But I do think it's going to be something in the game, maybe something like monster trucks pulling something or some little hint in the game where you can figure out stuff, right? But it won't be exactly like a live event. And right after that, Asimo actually confirmed something that is really huge. Uh, any further plans for plays and plans and fixes? Like decals, shoot down mechanics, or like missiles? Absolutely. Um, this isn't official official yet. We're still doing some paperwork, but the demo is actually growing for the first time. We just hired somebody, or we're trying to, and he's going to be a programmer. And we're going to make sure we focus on patching the game up and making it super duper polished this year. Yeah, I'm super excited to have a bigger Bedemo team. Only took, what, five years? <laughs> Just five years. <laughs> it's a scary change though. Yeah, and I should note, we'll introduce who he is soon once it's official. So yeah, Asimo confirmed there's gonna be a third member to the Bedemo team. So it's not gonna be Asimo and Bad DC, it's gonna be, you know, like a trio instead of a duo. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, right? So yeah, there's gonna be three Bedemo team members and they're gonna be a programmer. He won't reveal it yet, but he will reveal it soon, so we don't know who it is, but yay, we're getting a third Bedemo team member. Hopefully that means, like, bigger and better updates, which I'm pretty sure is the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, okay, here it is. Has there ever been a feature that you or Bad CC wanted to add, but didn't, because you didn't know how the community would respond? Uh, I actually had a close call with that, this update. It kind of happens a lot. There's a hard balance between like nostalgia, but also you got to move forward and actually update things. If you're not, you're just standing still and it's rather boring, but right. uh, we're, we're making some changes to the bank next update. I'll say that oh, much. Okay. And All right. I was really scared to change the lobby because it's very nostalgic. It's one of the oldest things in the game, but I think it's time to try something new and you'll see what it is next week. 
Anyway, those were the questions that I picked. I thought they stood out the most, but there's actually like a ton of questions that I actually want to like show. So this person actually made like an entire list going through every single one of the questions. They documented all of this. This is person is like amazing. But yeah, I just want to go over like a quick summary of some that I also thought were good. But you know, if I put it in this video, it'd be way too long. So right over here, the 46 quote. So right over here, the 46 question, someone said, can we expect a car game from Bedemo in the future? And uh, basically, Asimo says he would like to do that, and uh, it may happen. So that's pretty cool. But he said, stay tuned for it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 47th question, how do you do with tap arrest? Will there be a patch? And Asimo did say that he's working on a patch where mobile people are actually going to have to hold down to actually arrest. But it's going to be easy for them, but still going to be a little bit challenging. So it'll be balanced. He also talked about what he does when he doesn't develop. That's also pretty cool as well. He, he did talk about that. Some advice for some small developers. Quite a lot of stuff, as you can see. I think the entire Q&A was around 50 minutes. So yeah, these are a lot of questions. And this person actually put them all down. He, he, sent, he, spent, like, he spent an hour doing that. Man, that's a, that's a long time. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, here's all the questions right here. But yeah, out of all of that, tell me what you guys think about this Q&A. We learned quite a lot from this, especially, you know, like stacking cars is a thing. There's going to be a trading hub. In the winter, we might be knowing what's the lore about. And then we also know if the M12 Molten's coming back or not, or when it's coming. Well, it's going to be coming like after trading and stuff. And we have a lot of stuff we found out through this Q&A. And I think this demo should do more of these. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think down below. And uh, yeah, that was the Q&A for you guys. Uh, if you guys actually want to see the q and I'm pretty sure there's like, you know, like a full recording of it on YouTube. So you can go like watch that. But um, yeah, that's the Q&A. Those are like my questions that I thought were pretty cool. And thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think down below. And I'll catch you all later. Bye!